Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna check out this Komoda Ultralight Envelope Sleeping Bag. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I'm gonna show you this today. Um, this is something I picked up for my, um, I don't know if you remember, I did this video a little while back. My Ultralight Shelter with the uh, poncho. And I kinda wanna set up a whole theme of an ultralight entire sleep system. Again, this is not for super comfort. You know, this is for emergency, a place to shelter, even a place to hide from the rain or wind or whatever. Um, it's really just a shelter, and the bag kind of reflects that because it's a super ultralight. Um, mainly, I would say spring, so summer, and fall uh, waterproof sleeping bag. I I like the compression sack. I was looking for a compression sack because I want to kind of try and put everything in a compression sack with the shelter and all. But we're going to talk about just the sleeping bag today. I'm going to take it out here and show it to you, let you see what it's like. Again, it is very, very light. This is not something I would suggest you go out in a big winter storm with. But for my uses here in the desert, something like this is perfect. Now I'm going to give you a little information on the, blank, on the sleeping bag itself. It uh, does have a double zipper, so it can be unzipped, and you can double it up if you buy two of these. You can zip them together. It has the four compression strap bag, allowing the bag to be compressed down to a minimum size. The liner of the sleeping bag is made like a silk-like cotton, and I took this out to check it out. It is very, very comfortable on the skin. The total weight of the bag is 680 grams, and you can use this compression bag to reduce by one-third the volume of the whole thing. So this thing probably weighs about what a water bottle would weigh, carrying-wise. And it can be uh, shrunk down. It can even be shrunk down smaller than that. But I didn't do it because it kind of looks funny on the video with this stuff popping through. But it can be shrunk down a little bit smaller. The fabric is 320D nylon. The lining is TC cotton. The size. Now, if you are 6'7 or something, this isn't going to be a comfortable bag for you. The size is 6.2 feet by 2.5 feet. And it comes in different colors. You have wine red, sky blue, dark blue, orange, and the green. So, let's talk a little bit about the idea behind using something like this. Now, the idea behind this, again, is to get something super ultralight. It's easy to carry. You're not going to be sleeping in this every night. You're not going to be going camping and looking for a little more comfort in something like this every day. And honestly, if you were to take this in a sleeping bag liner, you could probably get this down to a little bit colder temperature. They say the limit on this is 48, comfort is 59. So for, I would say, a little more than three quarters of the year, this would be perfect for me out here. Even using in regular camping situations, you know, it just doesn't get that cold out here. I think the coldest we got out here was in the 20s. Um, we did have a little bit of snow, like a dusting. And this, with probably a good wool blanket or something over it, or even a sleeping bag liner, probably would have you would have survived that, maybe even comfortably. But it is not meant for that. So let's pop it out. Also, too, when you're using these, if you're not using a sleeping bag, it won't matter the rating your bag has. You're going to be cold. The ground's never going to heat up from your body. Instead, it'll suck the heat out. So if you're too cold, it's best to pack like a sleeping a blanket and a pad. Let's see here. OK, move these out of the way. I want to make sure I'm in camera. I always hate when I'm going back editing after I put everything away and realize, oh, your arm was blocking everything. You have to reshoot that segment. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Here's the inside. Now, I saw a lot of complaints on Amazon about the zippers. These zippers feel pretty good quality to me. I, I, you know, I've, I've been in this a few times and tested it out. I had no problem with the zippers. The fabric... Get out of there. I stuffed it in here really good. The fabric of this is a very lightweight, comfortable fabric, as you can tell there. There's not much to it. I mean, it's a pretty small sleeping bag. You know, this is it right there, piled up in a pile. So what I'm going to do, I put out a um, mat, an inflatable sleeping bag. It's actually a uh, one of those USGI self-inflating ones, but it was rolled up for so long. I got a deal on it, so I don't really care. It was rolled up for so long that it doesn't self-inflate. You have to blow some air into it. But I'm going to put that out. I'm going to put this on top of it. And I'm going to get inside and just see how comfortable I am inside of it. 
All right, so you can see it lying there on the ground. I've just kind of, I got into it and got out and just wanted to show you it on the sleeping pad itself. Um, I'm going to get inside. We're going to restart the camera. And I'm going to show you what it's like with me in there. Now I'm about, oh, 6'1", 215, 220, depending on the day. And so uh, if I can fit in here, pretty much most people can. <laughs> so let me hop in there and give it a try. All right, so here I am. And I'm inside of it. I'm comfortable. There is a little bit of me out of it, my shoulders. But I'm also not all the way down the end either. So I could probably slide down if I wanted to. Unfortunately, my back's a little sore this morning from doing some stuff at the gym, so I'm not going to go too much, too much contortion on this. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely comfortable. Again, it's not meant as a uh, comfortable sleeping bag. It's more of an emergency type situation, so it's lightweight and won't get in your way. So let me hop on out of this, and we'll finish up the review. All right, so here it is. I got it folded up into a four, um, so it's double the size of what you're seeing, double the length of what you're seeing there. I just fold it over once this way, once that way, and uh, I'll roll it up from here. I'll probably fold it one more time and roll it up. When you're folding this, again, you can just take this and shove it into the stuff sack, and it's really no big deal. I just like to put it away neatly. But uh, so far, with just testing it and playing around with it a little bit, it's... Fairly comfortable, I gotta say, for a tiny little lightweight sleeping bag. You know, and I'm not tiny, I'm pretty tall, and uh, it fit me fairly well. There was a little bit, I'd say, maybe that much of my shoulders sticking out, but like I showed you, my feet, if I'd slid down a little more, I would have been completely in that like a mummy bag, and that would have been fine. Worst comes to worst, like I said, you can always bring a blanket along with it if you think it's gonna be a little colder. But for my uses out here in the desert, heck, that would be something I pack almost all the time. Except for, like, probably December and January. Even February, it starts to warm up a little bit out here. So, I'm going to fold it up and put it in the stuff sack, and I'll show you how small it can be. All right, I wanted to show you the final step of getting this together. I just rolled it up, doubled it a couple times, and rolled it up into a ball. It never will get totally tiny inside, because there's always that part. It's very, very um, smooth, and there's always that part that wants to slip out. But I'm going to just show you the last step to see how small we can get it. So, I've got it in the bag, mostly. And you will never get it in the bag as neatly as it was when you received it. So don't try to. <laughs> I learned that from many, many um, sleep items. Sleeping bags, camping pads, all that. You'll never get them in the bag as neatly as when they came to you. However, putting it in here, sort of neatly, should work. There we go. It's rolled up inside of it. It's just kind of... Once we get past that top and down to the bottom there, push it down to the bottom, I mean. There we go. And again, if you're not like me and you're not, well, obsessive compulsive, <laughs> you can uh, just shove it in there, literally. You can just take it and push it in here and compress it down. I just like my stuff neat. Actually, that does look almost as good as when they sent it to me. Okay, so let's put the, I like to, let me put this in here. That way it doesn't get all over the place. And I can show you just how small you can make this. That's really the only reason I'm doing this, to show you how small this can compress down. Now with the compression straps, I like to take a little bit. For those of you who never used them before, I do a little here, a little here, a little here, and this guy here that fell out. I have to put him back in. I'll do a little on him too, on this strap. I pulled that out when I was doing the uh, opening of the bag. As you can tell, you can just take these and cinch them down little bits at a time. And the reason I do this is just because it makes it easier and it packs it a little more evenly. So if you want to really push this down and pull up on the straps, look at that. Look how tiny you can get this thing. Now, again, I wouldn't recommend storing it like this for long periods of time, because you'll mess up the, the down inside, the, uh, the cotton and everything. It'll compress too tightly. But, I mean, that's pretty darn small. For my uses, I'd probably back it off a little bit to about here, say. You know, and for me, that would be... Probably pretty darn good, right there. 
So that is the Komoda lightweight envelope sleeping bag. As you can see, I can fit in it. It's fairly comfortable. Um, again, it's about 61 degrees in here. If I can, yeah, 61 degrees in here. So it's not cold by any stretch of the imagination in my garage. And uh, it's not exactly a uh, test out in the wilderness. But when I get the whole sleeping system together, that I'm going to set up with my little poncho tent and I have a reflective cover for the bottom. Um, I probably will get a smaller, um, what was I going to say, smaller inflatable mattress, one of those really ultra light ones because the military one is just too big. It's very, very light, but it's very big and bulky and it's hard to crush down really, really small. So I will probably spend some money and get a decent uh, sleeping pad for the system and pack all this stuff down a little tighter. And then I want to upgrade the poles too, so we'll get some, I want to go with like 10, about 10 inch poles all the way across so I can get that 110 inch length of my cards on either end. But uh, that's the Komoda sleeping bag for $34. Not too bad, not too shabby. I was kind of expecting it not to be as good as it was. Um, like I said, I saw some people complaining about the zippers and I've had no problem with the zippers whatsoever. I've had this outside now a couple of times and I've set it up in here a couple of times in the garage and uh, zippers are not, you know, you can normally tell when you get bad zippers and they're going to break any minute. Not with these, they didn't feel like it at all. So I'm pretty pleased with it so far. If anything breaks on it, like always, if I run across stuff that, that breaks or stuff that doesn't work, I always like to bring it back and update it. But uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. And the positive reviews on Amazon are why I bought this thing. All the negative ones are saying, oh, it's too small, I'm eight feet tall, it doesn't fit me, you know. Or, oh, I was so cold, did you use a ground pad? No, you know, so, you know, some they were, they were like common sense, new camper type mistakes. So with something like this and an inflatable mattress and a little bit of ground insulation, you should be perfectly fine in most weather. But, you know, would I recommend this for somebody who lives in Alaska or say somewhere on the East Coast where you get a lot of snow? No, because you're probably going to be able to use this for about two or three months. Out here in the desert? Absolutely. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a, or a uh, like or share the video if you like it. And don't forget to check out our Amazon store down below. I will put a link to this particular sleeping bag in our Amazon store down below. And uh, if you don't see anything in the store you like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life store down below that. And check out all the deals we have in there. Um, I want to thank everybody that shopped for the, uh, the spring sale. I had a lot of people get interested in shop. And uh, we got some good deals there. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.